The shortcuts pages can be accessed by pressing the shortcuts button here. The first page contains shortcuts for Windows control. You can navigate the start menu, manage the desktop, manage files and folders in Windows Explorer, put the computer to sleep, switch it off or restart it. You can adjust the computer's volume here. The next shortcuts page is for Windows Explorer. Here you have options for managing and arranging the files and folders on your computer. I can close that window by pressing this X button. The next two shortcuts pages we covered in previous demo videos. WordPad is an application for creating documents that comes free with all versions of Windows. Its shortcuts are similar to those shown in the Word demo video. Notepad is a very basic typing application that comes with Windows. This could be a good place to start for people who are unfamiliar with creating documents. We've already covered Google Chrome in another demo video. This page has some simple shortcuts for using the Windows Calculator. This shortcuts page is used for interacting with dialogues. Dialogues are simply pop-up windows that contain messages with buttons like OK, Cancel, Yes and No. More complicated dialogues are often used to control an application's settings. For example, this one shows the options for Microsoft Word. I can navigate this dialogue and change the settings using the controls here.